So guys, before I get to the unboxing of the 10th uh, subscription box from Crafters Companion, I just want to show you last week there was a big storm coming in. It's actually still raining. I doubt you can see it out there, but um, water came in the window and of course it came into my craft room. What other room would it, you know, affect? Oh my gosh, so many things. The guys had to pack it all, the people that came from the restoration. And um, it took them the whole day, so they didn't even really get to work other than putting fans and putting this up because it's supposed to crack into the walls. And since that happened, it also kind of came into the kitchen a little bit, well, behind the wall, so everything in my kitchen is like upturned. <laughs> and they haven't done much in here because they're not sure that the insurance wants to yet cover the kitchen area, which they probably will, but they just need to know if they need to remove, what they need to do to remove the cabinets or redo the kitchen. So. Because, I mean, the water came down in here, too, in this area. It's behind the wall, so they have to remove the cabinets to get to that. What a pain. I, I don't even know. I'm like, I can't get ahead, you know? Um, these nice people from breadstamps.com sent me new bread stamps to try out. They sent me some of their, um, like, push molds to make um, cake pops, which are really cute, so they're shaped. And so I want to get to that, but, like, I don't know what's going to happen in this kitchen. Maybe I can still work out of the kitchen a little bit, plus maybe here in my dining area to make it happen, but... We'll make it happen. So I'm gonna go upstairs, cause you hear it's very loud. I don't know if you heard that other thing going. Um, definitely have to replace the windows. Hopefully, obviously the restoration people take care of everything else. And um, I, I, re I really don't want to do the kitchen. I, I don't care. I'd rather keep what's there than, cause that also matches the bathroom down the hall. And it's just, I don't even know. Um, I mean, the restoration guy's like, oh yeah, that'd be great if you got a new kitchen, at least a new remodel. I'm like, yeah, maybe not, you know? <laughs> cause it's like just, more work. So anyway, let's go upstairs and we'll look at what uh, Crafters Companion sent this month. Okay guys, so I'm up in my room. Um, again, when I moved here, there is no overhead lighting really upstairs. It's kind of weird. None of the rooms. They all have to have like a, they have a switch and then, you know, you turn on your light, wherever. And I <laughs> have not invested in a um, lamp for this room. I mean, I have side table ones, but that's it. But anyway, like a floor lamp. So I'm just going to open the box up. So normally it comes within a box, within a box, so the um, monthly subscription. Oops. So the box that they package it in, this box, and then that beautiful purple box shows through here. Purple box. Yeah. Mama, come have a seat. I asked to come up here because um, maybe you can even hear the fans blowing and I don't, I don't feel comfortable just leaving her downstairs with the containment that they did. Um, oh, since I filmed the morning when I showed you guys the came and um, adjuster came and all that, but they're, you know, the... Uh, 911 restoration people think that maybe some water is coming into the floor from other things so that's like a whole other I don't even know what that means like the foundation which would be uh, very stressful I mean let's we'll take care of it so my husband's like well I'm like I mean it has to happen whatever it is that they find I mean it has to get taken care of right but at the same time it's gonna be a lot of money possibly if it's not something my insurance covers so we'll see what happens guys fingers crossed because that's scary um, for sure water came in the windows, but that's a whole other thing. Okay, sorry. Especially if you don't used to watching my channel. I don't normally just talk about house problems. But okay, so this is the Build-A-Scene uh, set. So the, I don't think they said that it was going to build a scene until recently, like on their little label of what's coming up um, on HSN as far as the deliveries that are going to come. You can skip them ahead of time and things like that. So I think it just said 10 because I don't remember it saying Build-A-Scene. But here it is. So this is subscription box number 10, which I guess is for... February, even though it came out mid-February. This one came out actually pretty early, because a lot of times they go towards the end of the month. Well, yeah. So anyway, this says make a minimum of 19 cards, and it has some really cute things on the front here, so we will see what is in here. Miranda keeps trying to sneak back up here. Mama, go sit down. So it always opens up. It has some little information. It tells you to go to crafterscompanion.com slash craft kits to see what you can do with this. They have, so I don't know if you noticed, none of these have any kind of instructions. It comes with all this stuff and then they have videos that kind of correspond with them if you want to do what they are showing you to do. But yeah, of course you can do whatever you like. So first thing I see here is the sorted ribbons and they always include like a one inch, maybe three quarter and like half inch ribbon and in coordinating colors that should go back to whatever papers they included here. So there's three different sizes of ribbon. Um, a stamp set, and it's kind of, maybe you can see how big the little castle is, but everything else is very small. But how cute, I like the little cobblestone path and some of the background stuff. That's the kind of thing I do like. I do like that this is kind of, again, building a scene. Really cute. Um, hope you can kind of see all the different things there. 
Ooh, okay, and we skip right to blank cards. Okay, so hopefully I see some dies down there, so that might make it worth it. Again, I think this is $24.95 and then $5 shipping, basically $4.95. Card blanks in like some smaller sizes, a little bit larger, um, lots of different size blanks. Some of these look like they might be some fun creative fold type things. This one feels really thick in the back, so maybe it's a little bit different. Envelopes to coordinate with all of those items. <laughs> the guy, when they're cleaning out my craft room, they're like, okay, so just keep anything that you think is important. And I'm like, well, none of this is important. <laughs> it's like, what do you keep? When you have a whole craft room, what do you keep? So I put aside like my inks, uh, a couple things I do want to do for Close to My Heart that I want to show you guys before the Expressions book is up, which would be uh, January, February, March, March. will be the end of the spring, right? Yeah, I think they put one out every three months. So, hold on, is it every two months? I mean, every six, I can't remember right now. My head is like so just out there. But thank you, um, many of uh, several people have been picking things up recently, so thanks for your orders. And um, I hope to do, like I said, a couple tutorials. I'll have to do it up here. Hopefully the lighting will be okay. So um, I'll have my link to close to my heart there for you guys. But uh, I kept mostly those kind of things. And other than that, I let them pack everything up. And now they have to pack up my kitchen. So that's gonna be lots of fun. Uh, black and white card, so it just looks like maybe four by six. Okay, so it does have a nice little die set. This is cute. Um, I already have something similar to this die from uh, kits that I bought from them before, which are so cute. These are adorable, like little, like little cute little flower bell type things. Um, it has like a little zigzaggy die, which of course you can cut into your paper and it gives you know maybe the look of grass or something this one looks more like hills in the background and then you have your beautiful little fairy little tree so some of these i'm assuming coordinate back with the stamps not everything obviously but um like the house i guess you have to cut that out yourself but it shouldn't be too hard if you want to cut out um it looks like it cuts out um hmm. i don't even see the little tree on here let's see what does this do I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's anything that actually coordinates back to the stamps. I thought the rabbit, but the rabbit... no. <laughs> oh wait, maybe this little rabbit? And where's the deer? I think the deer is just going to be a silhouette. That's interesting. So this one kind of looks like this stamp. So possibly those cut each other out. Little house, maybe a little birdhouse or something. Maybe they're little houses, cause they, and these do not have bottoms, so you definitely are going to cut them out, and then you're, it's going to stay on the paper, you know what I'm saying? So it just pops out a little bit, or cut around it. Really cute. Yeah, I don't see a lot of those coordinate back to each other. I mean, they coordinate, but not like the die is going to cut out a specific stamp. I have some paper here. It looks like there's... Actually, they're, I think they're 8 by 8 papers. So there's like green, so they're kind of earthy tones, browns, dark blue, and this pretty light blue. Hello. Finally, they got away from that yellow. You love paper? And... Oh, okay, good. This is good. They, I was going to say, if you notice, they never include instructions. This one does have instructions, and it's probably because it's a little... It needs instructions. <laughs> and then the printed papers. So this is the whole kit, guys. Oh, my God. Let me show you the papers that are in here. And then we'll go from there, or we'll be done, I guess, should I say. So this is a really pretty modeled kind of rainbow paper. That's cute. Um, they're all white on the back. It looks like all the papers are just modeled. So there's like a modeled blue. I don't know how to... Like a purpley tone. This one has purple and pinks. Really pretty. I mean, if you want to make your own backgrounds like this, it's nice to have the paper that's already ready to go. This one's kind of more pink than the peachy. What, Mija? Uh, yellows. You love these? Lots of pretty papers. I want to touch them. Here. Oh, what do you think? Good. It's good. And then um, the instructions. So that's good because some of these, again, they're showing you how to build the scene kind of popped up. Super cute. Oh, and then that it, that die, you can just turn it around so it's not going to cut the edge. Really, really cute. So it's really comprehensive. I mean, for them to get all that in that one little set, even though they normally sell these sets for like 20 25 35 bucks, um, that's good. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think HSN is having another craft day next month. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. And, um, you know, if they have new things to jump into that's a yearly thing or whatever, you know, their auto ship, they usually only do it, I don't know, for whatever reason, on that day, right? So even if you would think that if there was extra ones, you can still get onto it, but a lot of times they don't do that. I guess that's how they get you to tune in. I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some pictures for you or... 
Actually, I won't. I'm not going to take pictures of stuff. <laughs> but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.